It's so good to be able to welcome you to Half Hour with Jesus today. And I hope that everyone is well. And it's great that we're able, uh, despite not being able to meet together in physically at the Soul Cellar, to share in this way. And uh, I just know and encouraged by how many people are uh, watching these recordings week by week. And we just pray today that God is going to bless you. And so um, we're going to share a song together. And you can either just listen to the song or if you wish to sing along or even dance, it's over to you.
So let's share together in a short prayer. Lord, we do thank you that we can meet like this. We thank you that you love each one of us, whether we acknowledge it or not, that you know everything about us. And we just pray now, Lord, that you bless our time of sharing together. Keep us safe in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today is half hour. We're going to be doing something different. Um, nothing to be scared about. But um, I have shared this with both Phil and Ian and they're quite comfortable with what we're going to do. We're actually going to be listening to a prayer. It's a prayer you may know uh, or you may never have come across before, but it's called the Shalom Prayer. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about how it were, came to be written in a few minutes. But first of all, just to invite you, because the prayer lasts for about 11 minutes, just to uh, make yourself comfortable, uh, maybe in an area, if possible, where you're not going to be disturbed and you can just listen to what God has to say to you. And um, so just pray that it will bless you as it's blessed many, many people. For over uh, 35 years, I've been involved in a Christian community known as the Maranatha community. Uh, the community stands for unity, healing and renewal and uh, has representatives <clears throat> from all of the main Christian denominations and um, also has folk who are members in many, many parts of the world. One of the founding members of the Maranatha community, Dennis Wrigley, who I worked with very closely during um, uh, over many, many years, um, was a dynamic leader in that community. And at one point in his life, he was, he was quite tired. He'd, he'd had a, a really difficult time, a very busy time of ministry. And he and his wife, Sheila, decided to take a holiday in Greece. And one of the days when they were in Greece, when Dennis was supposed to be resting, they went to a local beach and Sheila decided that she would take a cruise over to one of the neighbouring islands to go out and do some sightseeing, leaving Dennis alone on the beach. And as Dennis tried to rest, he was very aware that God was speaking to him. And he, he listened and he took out a piece of paper, oh, several sheets of paper and a pen and he wrote what he heard God saying and that was what we're going to hear today the Shalom prayer when Dennis returned from his holiday in Greece the the prayer was typed up and put into a leaflet form and that leaflet was distributed to uh, many many people including members of parliament members of the House of Lords, hospital chaplains, prison chaplains, and many, many other people. And we decided at that time that we would not put any copyright on the prayer so that it could be shared. And one of the things that often happened was in the Maranatha office, which is based in Flixton in Manchester, we would regularly receive letters from people. The letters came from different parts of the world and people would tell how they had come across this prayer. Initially it was in paper, then it was on CD and now it's on the available on the internet. Um, but people talked about how the prayer that you're going to listen to transformed their lives. So I just pray now that as we listen, 
God will open our ears and open our hearts and speak to us in a powerful way. After the prayer is finished, we're not going to have any closing prayer or closing song. We're just going to be playing some very quiet music so that you can just continue in an attitude of reflection uh, for a time after the prayer is finished. So let us just be still and know that God is God. as myself, just as I am this moment. My feelings, my fears, my joys, my sadnesses. You see me as I really am. You know me through and through. You see all, all that I am or ever have been. Every experience in my life is laid before you. Every image I have seen, each touch, each sensation, every word I have ever heard or spoken, each word, each idea, each thought which is imprinted in my soul and is known to you. You know me better than my closest friend. You know me better than I know myself. You know, and because of who I am, and in spite of what I am, you love me. I am of inestimable value to you. You love me through and through. Nothing, nobody can remove me from your love. Nothing, nobody can separate me from your love or your presence. You knew me at the moment of my creation, and even then you loved me. You knew me and loved me in my mother's womb. My nature was known to you. You called me by my name. You held me in your arms. You embraced me. You breathed upon me. You gave me your life and your love. You watched over me from my earliest childhood. You were present at all times and in all places. My unseen playmate, schoolmate, workmate, my unseen guest at every meal. You shared in every encounter. You watched over me silently, even in the long hours of the night. You shared in every journey. You traveled with me. You were at the beginning of each journey. You were my companion on the way. Without you, I lose my way. My journey has no purpose. I become exhausted on the way. But you are my Alpha and Omega. You are my way. You are the way itself, the way of life. So Lord, I lay before you my life, all my yesterdays, my todays and tomorrows. I praise and thank you for your presence in my life. I lift up in gratitude all the goodness and all the joy. I now offer you all my hurts, my bruises, my rejections. I offer you all those things of which I am ashamed, what I have said and done and thought, all that has brought hurt to you and to others. Lord, pour your cleansing streams of living water all over me. Make the parched deserts of my being spring to life, refresh me, renew me. Lord, breathe in me afresh now, and I will receive your life. Lord, reach out and touch me, and I will receive your healing. Empty me utterly of all the rubbish within me. This moment, Lord, take away all distractions, all temptations, all evil thoughts and desires. Remove me from all my anxiety. Take away every hidden fear. Help me to know that your perfect love casts out all fear. Bring me now into the deep silence of your presence. I give you my body and ask that it may become your dwelling place. This moment may every part of my being be at peace. Let my heartbeat be in harmony with your heartbeat. 
Let every part of my body be filled with your spirit. Take each blood vessel. Take every part of my nervous system. Take each muscle, each organ, each cell. Fill me now with your stillness, with the reality of your living presence. Help me now to pray, even without words. Help me to pray with my breathing, to breathe in of your love and your peace, to breathe out of my pain and sadness, to breathe in of your cleansing and forgiveness, to breathe out of my guilt and impurity. So in my breathing may my body and soul be at one with you, in harmony with you, at ease with you. May I be still and know that you are God. May I be still and know that you are the Lord who brings healing. Help me to hear your still small voice, Lord Jesus. May I now hear your words, peace be still. May all my storms subside as I accept your real presence. As I kneel before you, I give you my heart and all my emotions, all my deepest feelings that lie hidden within me. I give you my stillness, but I also give you the turbulence, the cross currents of my life, my feelings of failure and rejection. I give you every relationship, every situation in my life, all my reactions, all my outbursts of joy and of anger, all my moments of elation and despair. Lord, I give you my intellect. I lay before you all my frail thoughts and ideas. I give you all my searching and striving, my grasping after truth. I give you all my ignorance and confusion. I give you all my questions and doubts. I acknowledge you to be truth, truth in its entirety, total truth in all its purity, the truth which can set me free in my body, my mind, and my spirit. Free me from all the bondage, free from all the lies and deceit of the world, free from my own selfishness and pride and greed. Break the chains which hold me back, Lord. Fling open the door of my prison, that I may pass from the darkness of this world, my world, and walk out into the bright light of your presence. Father, may I now feel the radiance of your love upon my life. May I feel the warmth of your fatherly love upon me, your child. Trusting, depending, loving. Help me to know what joy my response brings to you. Give me the grace in my weakness to cry, Abba, Father. Help me to know that beneath me are your everlasting arms bearing me up. Lord Jesus, be the Lord of my life. Be the Lord of my thoughts and feelings, my memories and hopes. I accept your authority over everything I have been, am, or will be. I bow down before you. As I see you on your cross, held down by cruel nails, I see your arms stretched out, seeking to embrace the whole world, seeking to embrace me, seeking to love, seeking to forgive, seeking to make whole. I praise you that you died for me. Help me to know that because your love for me was so great, I too must love myself. I must recognize my great worth to you. Holy Spirit, source of all truth, giver of power, come upon me now, as gently as a dove or like tongues of living fire, as quietly as a summer breeze or as a mighty roaring wind. Come and dwell within me. Enable me now to do those things which before were impossible. Unworthy as I am, Holy Spirit of the living God, give me those gifts which I can use to your honor and glory, that I may show forth your fruit even in my life. Glory be to you, Father. Glory be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to you, Holy Spirit. Amen.
is our peace who has broken down every wall he is our peace he is our peace he is our peace who has broken down every wall he is our peace all your cares on him for he cares for you he is our peace he is our peace cast all your cares on him for he cares for you he is our peace our peace who has broken down every wall he is our peace he is our peace he is our peace who has broken down every wall he is our peace he is our peace Cast all your cares on him, for he cares for you. He is our peace. He is our peace. Cast all your cares on him, for he cares for you. He is our.